All right, so we're going to do a cast on Zeus today. Zeus is a little scared, but he's a nice English bulldog that we're doing a brace for. He's got a CCL rupture. So our first step is we need to put a stocking on his leg. We put it in a little water. Terry lifts up the leg gently. And we're going to kind of work our leg, work our stocking it up. For bulldogs, we have a special suspension sleeve that we want to have above and below the hock. So I have this stockinette extra long so I can start my cast where my hand is now. We put our surgical tube along the lateral side. And now we're going to put our or fiberglass cast tape in the water for about 10 seconds. Zeus, you're being good, Chef. Big foot, little boy. I'm going to squeeze a lot of water out of it. And when I'm doing this, I want to get just a few little wraps over the whole thing first, and then I can find spots that are a little thin and fill everything in. It's just easier to kind of get get it going in my opinion first and then find the thin spots so Terry doesn't have to work as hard holding the tube in place. My goal is to get as high into the groin as I can so I can get as much information about the leg without making a guess. Just kind of going down. I want to get good overlap as I'm going down so I get it all to, to, to stick together. And for Zeus, I want to make sure I have a good a good angle at his hock. If it was if the hock was too straight, it'd be really tough to make our brace. And get good definition of his quadricep. So I'm done with my fiberglass. Get a little water on my fingers. Now I want to just kind of give him a little massage, even out any wrinkles while I'm kind of gently holding his leg in, in position. We don't want him to put a lot of weight on his leg, but I need to at least simulate how he might stand on it. I'm feeling for my patellar tendon, so I can kind of get a little dent there that helps me make the brace. And I'm kind of delineating the tube so I know how to cut it off. Almost done, Zeus. So I'm about ready to cut it off. This is real time, this isn't fake. It's starting to hurt firm up a little bit, so I can take my Sharpie. I'm going to mark the patellar tendon, and then I'm going to follow my tube. So I know how to cut without cutting anything that I don't want to cut. My marker doesn't mark the greatest, but it's enough to give me a good guide. If I want to, I can mark the calcaneus as well, the back of the hock. And if I find this, my utility knife. I like to put my thumb right next to the blade, so even if I slip, I'm not going to poke him too hard. And if I did that right, it should be nice and easy to cut it, cut it through with the utility knife like I just did. And then I need to take my stocking off so I have my cast scissor. And I'm going to cut the fabric. And then gently slip the cast away. Yeah, it's, it's semi-soft still, but it's going to be firm enough that I can hold it back together and be done. That's the cast. <laughs>